Hi, welcome to the fourth lecture of this section. In this lecture, I will show you how to export individual frames of this video as image format. So let's get start. I will select my composition and then I will select my video. Now I have to decide how many clones I need for this effect. So I will go further in my video. Let's see. I think I like this pose for my first clone. So now I will show you how to export this frame as image format. Bring your playhead at the frame which you want to export as image format. After bringing your playhead at the exact frame, I will go to composition. Here I have save frame as option. I will go to save frame as I will click on file. Here I will go to output method. Here I will click on Photoshop and will change my format to JPEG sequence and I will press OK. Then I will click here to set my location for this effect. First of all, I will open location for this export project files, collecting clones effect. And here I will create a new folder named clones. Then I will open this folder and rename this as clone 01 and press save and then I will click on this button render it will render out this single frame which I can show you in the folder where we have exported this frame project files collecting clones effect clones so here you can see this is our screenshot which we exported from Adobe After Effects. So I'll go back to Adobe After Effects. After exporting my frame, I will come here and click on this time frame. And then I will right click and copy this time frame. And then I'll go to my notepad and paste that timing here. Because I will need that timing later when I have to add my clones in this video. So I will write the name of the image here. Minimize this document. No, I will move for my second clone okay i will use this as my second clone so again i will go to composition save frame as file photoshop format to jpeg sequence okay and now i will change the location yeah this is the same location where i want to save my clone here i will rename it clone 02 and then i will press save and press render and then I will copy the timing of this clone and will paste it here. Minimize it. So using same technique, I will export all other my clones and will note down the timing of all those frames. Okay, for this lecture, that's it. Now, what I want you to do is export frames of your choice from your video and note down timing of those frames. If you don't want to go through the whole process and you are using my raw footage, then go to the attachment section. I have attached these screenshots of these clones and timings with this lecture. Go there and download those images and timing and follow along with me. In next lecture, I am going to give you an activity. We'll see you there. Bye bye.